Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to all new video series of API and database testing with Specflow and C Sharp. And in this video, we'll be talking about introduction of this series. Well, API testing, what is this thing? API is otherwise called as a application program interface is a set of routines, protocols and tools for building softwares and applications. And this is the definition which I took from Wikipedia. So even if you search in Google, you'll get exact definition of what you're seeing right here. So as that said, it is a routine and it's a protocol and it's a tool for building a software application. So keep in mind, this is what it is. So is API a web service? So these are some of the questions which people are asking me while they start doing the testing and while they encounter something called as API while they work with a project or can I perform API testing only with a SOAP UI which has a free version as well like SOAP UI Lite. Well web service is one of the types of API but as I already said API is a set of routines, rules and protocols used to build software application. As that said API can be a web service which is something which is deployed in local internet information server as a service or it can be deployed in a remote web server as a web service or it can also be deployed as a web service in a cloud hosting. So these are the different types of hosting that can be done for a web service in any of these environments. Similarly, a window service is also a type of API where you can see in your machine, if you go to the services.msc, you can see there are different types of daemon services running behind the scenes in your operating systems. And you can see some of these services are responsible for performing some kind of events and operations in your application or in an operating system level. So this is again a API. Libraries, this is also an API. For example, one of the most popular automation testing API, which is Selenium. So this is one of the type of API. NUnit, which we used for our automation testings, assertions and different kinds of executions. And it's again, one of the type of framework for testing. So this is also a API. It's again, a application program interface for testing your application, right? So this is again, one of the type of API. So libraries are also called as an APIs and also protocols. So you know what are the different types of protocols available. So these are the different types of APIs which is available in our software world where we use for different kinds of purposes and we might have to test these kinds of APIs as well. So testing this API, how to do this? And this testing of API can be done with different tools like we already discussed, SOAP UI, test complete, RanoRex, WCF Client, which is something, a free nitty tool, which is available along with your Visual Studio. And you can do a WCF or a SOAP call, something like that, and see how the different methods can be operated with the different parameters to be passed in it. And Fiddler and Postman, etc. So these are the different types of API testing tools available. And most of them, as you see here, other than the SOAP UI full version, as well as the test complete and RanRx, other three are free, all right? So which tool are we gonna use in this video series then? Well, we will be using Visual Studio plus C Sharp. That's the tool that we're gonna use. And we will be using Specflow to create a behavioral driven development kind of testing for our API which is what is most of the companies right now are performing to perform a API testing because your API is something which is more like a methods available in your application and testing these kind of application without a clear contest or clear scenario is kind of confusing because today you might understand what these methods are going to perform and what are the different kinds of parameters that you can give. But after maybe a two or three months, if you see the same code that you wrote with the different parameters, you will not understand what these parameters are going to perform. So a spec flow scenario is something which can be very, very handy while performing an API testing. So we're going to use spec flow as well. So let's talk about it. So stay tuned guys. We will be discussing a lot about these API testings along with Visual Studio, C Sharp and spec flow in this series. 
So thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.